Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is going to blow your mind. Now, you just never know what you're going to get with these two people that we're going to talk about today. So, we're going to talk about Angela Dean and, of course, a little bit about what's going on with Michael Ilasami. But Angela now is hanging out and being very flirtatious with another controversial former cast member, as we've learned, Scott Warren. So, Angela and Scott are chilling at bars, you know, sitting on each other, kissing each other even, and downing a bunch of drinks. And so we're going to talk about that. Now, as you guys know, the relationship between Angela and Michael um, has been uh, a disaster, especially since he's come to the USA. You know, he came in December, and basically a little over a month later, he ran away from Angela and cited that he was afraid for his life after going to the police and turning himself in so this has created a massive massive headache uh, for Angela who allegedly and I don't know if I fully believe this or not but basically she's been having health problems ever since this whole ordeal started happening so she can't eat she doesn't feel good and she's playing a little bit the victim card here the woe is me my life is so terrible I'm getting screwed by the scammer you know this yahoo boy basically is kind of what she's saying and so she's pulled out the what was me card, but she can eat apparently, but apparently she can down a bunch of drinks at a bar and smoke some cigarettes. So I don't exactly know how that works, but let's take a look at what's going on with Angela and Scott here today, because this is just such a weird one, guys. And of course, um, you know, we spoke about Scott recently. So what's going on with Scott? Let me just tell you guys, if you don't know, before we jump into this right here. So Scott allegedly has been let go or fired from 90 Day Fiance. Uh, he posted about this just maybe about two weeks ago or so. But Scott said that, don't worry, guys. And I think this was a threat. Don't worry. Even though I'm not going to come back on 90 Day Fiance, I'm going to be coming back to a different reality TV at some point in the fall. And Scott is not the only one. Uh, you know, there's been some, some other cast members that have been, like Larissa Dos Santos, who is joining House of Villains. And so we don't know exactly what show Scott's going to come on, but he promises or he threatens, depending how you look at it, to be back on reality TV soon. So Scott and Angela have some surprising similarities in their backgrounds and attention-seeking behavior. Maybe this is why they met up. Now, this is coming to us from Screen Rant. Scott might be using his friendship with Angela for attention. Given his history of seeking the spotlight, there's speculation that Scott... And Angela could potentially be joining a 90 Day uh, Fiance spinoff together. Or perhaps they could be dating. And I'm going to show you guys a video in just a second here. Now, Scott is proudly showing off his new friendship with 90 Day Fiance star Angela Deem. Scott was cast on Love in Paradise Season 3 about two years ago. And he dated Pedro Jimeno's mother, Lydia Morrell. Now, Angela has been a recurring star on several of uh, 90 Day Fiance shows and spinoffs with, of course, Michael Ilesami. You know, they've had a very long journey. They, uh, you know, met on Facebook a lot of years ago. And it's been, uh, you know, a, a very rocky relationship with uh, many accusations of cheating and betrayals, especially by Angela towards Michael. Many scenes that showcased how abusive Angela is towards Michael tearing apart his car. Some people have actually said that perhaps it wasn't even his car. Perhaps it was her car that she paid for. I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, but uh, the overall uh, abusive behavior by Angela towards Michael, I think is pretty apparent and obvious. And I think we've all seen it uh, over the years. And so when Michael says that he was afraid for his life, you know, usually with these couples, you have to be like, oh, hold on a second. Is this another one of these situations? Like we've had a couple of these where, you know, the spouse is just trying to break, break away and stay in the USA. Or is there some truth to this? And in the Michael situation, I think it's one of the few situations where you can actually look at it and be like, wow, this could act like he could actually be fearful of her because we've seen it on the show. We've seen just how physical, how abusive she gets mentally, physically, emotionally, also financially, because Angela does not want Michael to be independent and be able to earn his way. She wants him to be fully dependent on her so she can basically control him. And I've said this before, like in that movie Misery from 1990 or 1991, that lady just controls 
that that man completely and basically even physically, I think he's handicapped at one point from the legs, and he just can't do anything, and it's just like a slow burn of torture until the end. Now, I'm not saying that Angela is quite like that, but just the way that she wants to control him in every facet of his life, for some reason, reminds me of that movie. Now, uh, let's get back to this piece here. Angela and Scott have met up. There's been a lot of speculation um, surrounding their relationship. Scott randomly posted pictures and videos with Angela, and the post left fans stunned as their friendship was not anticipated. Now, Angela may be acting out in the wake of Michael's disappearance, and Scott may have ulterior motives for their friendship. Scott has been struggling to stay relevant with 90 Day Fiancé fans, and his posts with Angela are his latest cry for attention. He was very excited to be hanging out with Angela, the OG of 90 Day. I'm not worthy. Love ya, Angela. Now, before we show you guys what's going on, I have to say, and, you know, there is love or hate Angela, and I know most of you guys hate her, and with good reason. But Angela and Scott, they are different planets apart in terms of their uh, reality TV stardom, I guess, in a sense. Angela, you know, she, she's, she's a villain on the show, for sure, but she is very well known. She's one of the most popular characters to have ever appeared on the show. Scott, on the other hand, he is not even, he's known for the spinoff that nobody watches, Love in Paradise. Nobody watches that. And, of course, he was on The Family Chantel a little bit as well. But he's never even made it to the big show, so to speak. So a lot of people barely know who Scott Warren even is because a lot of you guys don't even watch some of those shows. And I don't blame you. Love in Paradise is almost unwatchable, I have to say. Very tough to get through that show. So Angela hanging out with Scott is interesting to me because it shows that Angela is a little desperate for attention and she'll take anything like scott would take anything anybody that gives him attention he will give attention back like the, he is perhaps the thirstiest one of the most desperate people that we've ever seen angela doesn't have to hang out with with scott to get attention but here let's show you guys what's going on with scott and angela so he posted this about a day ago and he's here writing some kind of like mechanical bowl or something um and uh, he says angela is a rock star and I'm having a hard time keeping up with it. I thought I had a lot of energy. DOG, I'm not worthy. Thank you for an amazing night in Georgia. So he's writing that, and here we go. Guys, uh, just uh, so cringe, so cringe. But everything Scott does is is quite cringe. Now Scott actually, uh, he he tagged me in some kind of story not that long ago. I, I somehow missed it. I guess it expired before I got to it. But I maybe he didn't like that I called him a clown or just uh, a bunch of words maybe that I said. He probably didn't like. Maybe that's what he was addressing. But uh, he kind of comes off. He just comes off that way. Let's see what else they posted here because they posted more stuff here. The OG of 90 Day Fiance. Um. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I just want to introduce you to my new bodyguards. 
God, guys. Oh, man. Recreating dirty dancing. Oh, my God. Oh. This is just so cringe, guys. So, so, th so this is what's going on with Scott and Angela. Um, just very, very cringe-worthy stuff here. So... You can see it though, they're they're getting very close and, and you know, I, I gotta tell you guys now, I don't think they're dating, I think they're just meeting up. I think this is some kind of collaboration because this is how these 90 Day Fiance and all these, you know, Instagram influencers uh, work. They do collabs because they meet up and then they think that uh, if there's two of them meeting together, it will get it will create more buzz, it'll get more people talking about them. And that's kind of the, the logic behind doing these things. So Angela thinks that by meeting with Scott, people are going to start talking. And of course, we are talking because it's weird. It's cringe. It's uh, a little bit unexpected because I, I personally didn't, didn't think that Angela had to stoop down, to, which is weird to say because Angela kind of stoops down herself uh, in many in many other occasions. But I didn't think she would have to meet with Scott to to try to stay relevant. But I guess she's desperate. So th that's kind of how, how it works. But I don't know. They're very close. And you can see Angela kissing Scott. He's grabbing her. You know, he's holding her around. They're recreating dirty dancing scenes. Uh, they're kind of being flirty with each other. So you have to wonder if the roles were reversed and Michael was doing this with, say, a former cast member. I don't know. Take your pick. Whoever. Take, take your pick of a former TLC female cast member. Let's say Larissa, since she was also fired from TLC, right? So let's say Michael met up with Larissa. And they were recreating Dirty Dancing. You know, Michael was giving Larissa kisses, you know, on the cheek, holding her, lifting her off, uh, you know, off her chair, having drinks with her, uh, kind of being all over each other and stuff like that. I think Angela would cry murder. She would basically say that this is the worst cheating scandal of all time. And basically, Michael needs to be deported. Probably even worse. She would, she would probably want to kill him, like, physically. And so, you know, you kind of have to wonder about, about those things. And, of course, this is not the first time that Angela does this because a few years ago she met up uh, or she had a, a virtual kind of relationship with this guy from Canada who had some kind of illness that I don't remember right now. Maybe it was cancer. And they were very flirty with each other. And, of course, Michael had a problem with it because the relationship felt like it was inappropriate. And it just Angela was very flirty. With this guy, she might have went to meet him. I forget now. She said she was going to. I think she actually made her way there, but I forget. It's been a couple of years. And, um, you know, at the time, Angela saw no big deal with this whole situation. But as soon as Michael even looks at another girl, she cries murder. So just a, a huge double standard there. But, of course, right now, Michael did leave Angela. So I guess right now it gives her the green light to kind of behave this way. Um, you know, what, what Scott, so Angela and Scott guys, they're, they're being flirty. They're be, they're, you know, their hands are all over each other. They're, they're downing drinks, fireballs. So on April 8th, Scott shared several photos and videos of him hanging out with Angela on, uh, Instagram in a video that Scott posted, Angela refers to Scott as her bodyguard and they share and embrace. They go on to dance with each other in the video. Scott even included a picture of Angela's daughter, Skyla. Scott went on to post additional content. He repeatedly referred to Angela as the OG and was visibly and audibly excited to be with her. Scott and Angela are more similar uh, than many people might think. Uh, this, you know, the, the author here says they're both from the South and their home states border each other. Scott is from Florida and Angela is from Georgia. Now, Angela has had a violent past throughout her time on 90 Day Fiance. She once shoved a cake into Michael's mouth uh, or face, actually, and even tore apart pieces of a scar when he wouldn't come outside his home to see her. Now, uh, supposedly, Scott also has some allegations of violent behavior uh, uh, in his past. 
Now, the blog uh, TV shows a uh, TV season of spoilers reported that a now deleted IG account, 90 Day Cheeseme, who uh, also created a new account recently, found that Scott had alleged domestic violence and orders of protection on his record. Scott refuted these claims, commenting, I've never had a violent past. There is no certainty to the allegations made against Scotty by the 90 Day Fiance fan account. However, Scott and Angela definitely have at least one thing in common they love attention. Scott is a serial clout chaser. It's no secret that Scott likes the attention he received from being on TLC. He entered 90 Day Fiance via his relationship with Pedro's mother, Lydia. And Scott probably thought that dating Lydia, the mother of one half of one of the most popular couples, would propel his stardom. But instead, it seems like he uses his claim to fame to awkwardly draw attention to himself in any way or shape or, you know, anything, any way possible, basically. Scott even asked Amanda to be his Valentine this year. And they had a bit of a weird relationship. Um, y- you know, if you guys remember, so people were unsure if Scott and, and, and Amanda were dating, similar to what's going on here. But I think that this with Angela is even more uh, flirty, I guess I would say, than what he was doing with Angela. So him and Angela met up. Um, he said that he was moving into Angela, into her basement. And uh, I mean, Amanda, he said he was moving into Amanda's house and into her basement and, you know, we kind of spoke about this, that there's not a lot of basements in Louisiana and for a good reason. So that whole thing didn't make a lot of sense. And so maybe he didn't even actually move into her house at all. They just met up to snap some photos together and try to get people talking about them being in a relationship. Of course, Amanda revealed that she did have a new boyfriend just uh, a little while after this whole thing with Scott. So Scott moved moved back to Florida, I believe, and he's now in Georgia and kind of doing the same thing so you can see the mo here the modest operandi scott goes around he basically tours the country at least southern usa meets up with whoever from 90 day fiance will meet up with him takes picture takes videos pretends to be flirty and whatnot to try to get people talking about him and um we are i i, I guess scott 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 wins this one but what do you guys think about this do you guys think that scott and amanda I mean, Scott and Angela. Do you guys think Scott and Angela could actually be, you know, a couple? Because they exhibit a lot of the same behavior patterns. Perhaps the issue for them is that maybe they're too similar. They're both very thirsty. They're incredible cloud chasers. They're obviously very big narcissists, but that word kind of gets thrown around so easily these days that you could probably apply it to most of the 90 Day Fiance cast members. They're, you know... They both have shady pasts. They'll do anything to stay on TV. They're super desperate. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Scott and Angie could work out? Let me know in the comment section down below. Just such a such a weird thing. I didn't think I was going to see this today, guys. But you guys let me know what you make about this whole thing with Scott, Angela, and all this whole situation. It kind of blew my mind when I saw those videos. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.